A 10 year old saves another boy from drowning in Marion County and a council member is now honoring him with a proclamation for his bravery. Our Gina Guerra sat down with them about and talked to them about that scary day and they really just jumped right into action. Yeah, no hesitation. Good morning, Julia and Carlos. 10 year old Floyd had been practicing diving in the deep end of the pool all summer and holding his breath, but he never could have thought his practice would pay off quite like this. It was like any other hot summer day. At the beginning of the season, Floyd Carrere came to this pool near Holiday Park to cool off with dad, Paul. Through the middle is where it just gradually slopes down and, and, and there's been other kids where I've seen them just going down and you just give them a boost back to the shallow end. But that day, they were taking a break from the water when Floyd spotted another boy a few years older. I saw him cannonball over there. And then a few minutes later, there were a few kids over here. They were, they were saying, hey, there's a ball at the bottom of the pool. And then the kid said, no, not a, not a ball, a boy. Floyd didn't hesitate, jumping in and swimming to the bottom of the deep end. The boy was slumped over nine feet down. He was unconscious. And when he did come up and he had the boy, I was like, in shock and there was no there in his eyes or anywhere. He was like, he was gone. I put him right here on top of the drain. Dad ran over, giving the boy CPR while others called 911. Once he took those first few gargled breaths, I was like, wow. Paramedics rushed him to the hospital. And that's the last I saw of him. They don't like thinking about that day and had Floyd not been there to jump in. If he's starting at 10 years old, I can't imagine how many other people he'll help. Floyd and his parents called the hospital the next day. A nurse told them the boy is expected to be okay. And Floyd said he'd like to see him again so they can officially meet up.